Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a sticky video when a user scrolls down the page. To pull this off, I'm gonna be using the video widget from Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. Our affiliate link is in the description below, and if you purchase this plugin with our link, we will get a small commission that will support this channel. So here's an example of how the sticky video is gonna work. So if you scroll down, you see this video right here? When the user scrolls down, it's going to automatically jump to, in this case, the bottom left. So you can see that, you know, if you play a video here, it's going to continue to play down when the user scrolls. So you can see right here, it's still playing right here. So you've probably seen this on, you know, different news sites or anything like that. So what I like about this widget is it's very easy to set up and you can have it anywhere in the corner. So you can have it here top right. In most cases, bottom right, I think would be the best case. In this case, they have uh, bottom left. And they also have it where you can put it in the center on the left or the right. So without wasting more time, let's just jump right into how to set this up. So here's the page that we're going to be working with in this tutorial. I wanted to have it where this video right here will do the same function I just showed you, where if you scroll down, it's going to automatically jump. In this case, I wanted to the bottom right. So you can see if I start playing this video, it's going to automatically jump down here and still, you know, play while the user's scrolling down. So let's go ahead and just show you how easy it is to set this up. Once you've purchased and activated the plugin, you head over into your Elementor page and just type in video for a widget. And you can see right here, we have a new widget right here. So what I like about the ultimate add-ons for Elementor is any of their widgets, they're going to have this little tag here in the corner. Because as you can see, this is the default uh, video player in Elementor but you wanna make sure that you're gonna pull in the ones called UAE. Once you drag in the widget, it's just a few clicks to kind of get everything set up. So the first thing is, of course, you wanna figure out you know, where your video is gonna be. So I would say in most cases, you're probably gonna to wanna to use a YouTube video, but they have these other formats as well. So in this case, we're just gonna use this YouTube video right here. And so you just copy and paste the URL from YouTube and they kind of give you some instructions right here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's the long format with uh, the string right here with watch equals. Um, you, you can't use, I guess, for some reason, you can't use the share URL. It's a little bit different. So you're just going to want to make sure that, you know, you put in the right one. And what's good is if it doesn't work, it just won't display correctly. So you'll know if it's right once you put it in. And just like other video widgets and stuff like that, there's some standard settings. So in this case, you can do a start and end time. So if you know that you want to start the video at a certain time, you can put that in right here. And if you're recording most of your videos in, you know, HD, 1080p or whatever, probably 16.9 is going to be what you want. Um, if you do have a different format, you can change it up right here. I do like how they give you a lot of different options. So that's really nice right here. And pretty much just everything down here, you can just keep standard. I haven't changed any of these settings right here. Um, for example, something like an autoplay isn't going to work. You're going to see right here. It's not going to autoplay automatically. In most cases, if you have the video with audio on it. So you're going to want to make sure that you have mute on in order for it to autoplay. So in most cases, you're probably just going to want to keep autoplay off. And if you go down here, let me close this section right here. I'm just going to keep everything default to keep this tutorial shorter. You're just going to want to click on sticky video. So by default, of course, it's not sticky. So when the user scrolls, it's not going to be activated. You have to turn it on. So what I like about this plugin is that when you start making changes, you can just change it within um, the back end here. You don't have to like hit update and go to the front end. So what you want to do is make sure that when you have sticky on, just kind of scroll down so you can see where it appears. And you can see right here, you can change the width of how wide you want the video to display. And they give you the different responsive options right here. So whatever's going to look good for you know your design and layout, you just change it right here. And if you remember in the uh, beginning of the video, I told you you can put it pretty much anywhere you want in the corner. So we have top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, center left and center right, which is a pretty unique uh, approach. And I don't think in most cases you're going to want to center it because you're going to see it. It overlaps with a lot of this stuff right here. I think bottom right is the best if you don't have like a chat bot or any scroll to tops. It just feels natural to have it to the bottom right. And if you look right here, you can do spaces from edges. So they kind of give you some options. If you want to push it in a little bit more, you can do that. So let's say I want to have it um, 200 pixels from the right. You could put that right here. So you can see if 
by default it's zero so i would say that's probably best but if you do have uh like a scroll to top and you want to make sure you can still access it you could put that a little offset right here let's go ahead and just change that back to default and the background size same thing it's kind of like padding you're going to see background color let me change this to a red or something so you can see so you can have a background color so it's kind of the background the video and then this section i'll cover later down here but I don't know it's, it's a personal preference whatever you want to put in here if you just go to zero you can see that there is no border now so you may want to you know just play around with that and see what kind of looks best let's go ahead and just clear out that background so nothing comes through and then they give you this option to hide it if you want to hide it on mobile which might be a really good case because on mobile there's not a lot of room so you may want to just kind of adjust these things and turn them on and off depending on the device and then they give you the option to have a close button on and off. Um, I personally think it's probably best um, user experience to keep that on. So the user, if they are annoyed by this for some reason, you could just close it off completely and then it will just stop playing. So I do recommend having that on. And then of course they give you the options to change the color of the icon and the background color. Let's just keep it default to keep it simple. And then this down here is what they call the info bar. So you can see when you turn that off, it will just, display the video without anything below it. So this is a pretty nice feature and I don't really see a lot of other plugins doing this type of functionality with the uh, now playing. So you could see right here that this can just take in simple HTML. And so you could put in bold, which you see where it says now playing, you can put that around a strong or a B tags. And then you could just have, in this case, element or stories. But let's say I want to have a break. You could just do a regular br tag and it will break it to the next line you can see right here so this can just kind of take in simple html code you're not going to want to put in anything super custom in here but you can see if you don't go too long with the text you can have it on one line so this is a pretty good use case where it says now playing well in elementor stories wiki design and if you ever watched our video it's pretty cool if you haven't watched our elementor video i recommend watching it. it's just a couple minutes long that was a fun video to shoot. And of course they give you the options to change the color of the text and the background. So in this case, I have a blue background and then you can change the font size right here. So you can see right here, you don't want to go too big because then it won't show on the screen. So just kind of change it to whatever's going to fit your design. Let's say in this case, 16 pixels looks good. And then they give you some padding options here. So you can see that if you start to add too much padding, the text is just going to not show completely. So you're going to want to be mindful of how much padding you're going to add. But let's just keep it at, um, what was it, maybe 10, maybe 5, something like that might work. And that's pretty much all the settings that they give you for a sticky video. So like I said, this is very easy to set up. It just takes a few minutes and you can have some really cool functionality on your website. So let's go ahead on the front end of the page. I always like to test these things. So if you scroll down, you're going to see it automatically is going to go to the bottom right. We have the info bar and let's just make sure that when you play the video, it still plays down here. If you pause it and if you scroll up, it will be paused. So it, it kind of whatever functionality you have down here, it's going to know what to do up here. So let's say we are at like a 30 second mark. If you scroll up, it continues to play at that same exact uh, timestamp. So now let's scroll down to mobile and I have it where it's automatically going to not have that sticky video on mobile. So you're going to see right here, it goes away completely. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.